Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston and today we are going to find the least common multiple between two numbers using the Euclidean GCD algorithm we saw in the last video. Link to that video is in the description below, by, by the way. Now, what is a least common multiple? The least common multiple is a positive integer that is divisible fully by both the first and second number. What that means is, let's say you consider two numbers, 4 and 2. Yeah, they're very simple numbers, but why not? If you expand with a table of 4 and 2, you basically get, so table of 4 will be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Table of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So if you look closely, the least common multiple in this case is 4, because 4 is the smallest number that is common for both the lists. Now, obviously, we can't find um, or we can't always expand to the tables of the numbers we want to find the LCM of. So some very smart people have come up with a standard formula that we can apply to find the least common multiple. The formula states that LCM of A comma B will be equal to the mod of A times B divided by the GCD of A and B. So let's apply it on 4 and 2. So LCM of 4 comma 2 will be equal to the mod of 4 times 2 divided by the GCD of 4 and 2. So that basically gives us a mod of 8 divided by 2, which gives us a mod of 4, which eventually gives us 4. So we got the same answer. So all we have to do now is to write this formula into code and um, obviously we'd have our output. Here, we have defined the function def least common multiple. This function takes two inputs, a and b. Now, if a and b are both zero, we absolutely have no business going any further in the process and we can just return zero as our return value and print that out. In all of the other cases where a and b are not zero, we actually verbatim apply the algorithm and compute our answer. ABS in this case gives us the absolute value of a times b. The def Euclidean GCD function was defined in the last video and you can always find a link to that in the description box below. We call the least common multiple function with the parameters 4 and 7 in this case, and whatever that is returned is printed out immediately. Um, that's all for this video. This was a short video. It's all for this video. I hope you found it thoroughly entertaining. I know you did. Um, uh, like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one, in, um, and I will see you in the next video. Later. Peace.